Hello, my storytime friends. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the Freedom Public Library Storytime. I'm Elizabeth Reimer, the director here in New Hampshire, and I'm really happy to give some shout outs to some of you who sent me pictures this past week. Here are Colin and Evan, and Darla, Bo, Elsie, Bennett, Michael, and Piper. What a big group. Here's Declan and Eliza. She's a new storytimer. Hi, Eliza. Here are Haley and Amelia. And here are Jackson and Anna's ghosts, Joy and Araya, and Linda. Hi, Linda. And Logan with his bearded bear. That's so funny. And here are Molly, Laura, and Anna, and Tessa. If you would like to be included in an upcoming Storytime shout out, send me your pictures to the email address down in the description below. And if you live locally, you can get on a list to receive the Storytime craft supplies. So send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. All right, now let's get started with Storytime, shall we? Let's sing our Storytime song together. Are you singing with me? Sit down, it's story time, and we are going to have some fun read books and sing some songs so listen everyone i like to see your eyes grow bright i like to see you smile because you're all growing up so fast let's share this little while so sit down it's story time and we're gonna have some fun read books and sing some songs so listen everyone listen everyone Great. So today it is mice story time. And my first book today is a book that's pretty new to the library called Hickory Dickory Dock. And it's by Keith Baker. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. It's time for fun. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock, a bird sang to the clock. Tweet, 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 tweet. The clock struck two. Away she flew. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. A snake wrapped round the clock. The clock struck what? Three. He took the key. Uh-oh. Hickory dickory dock. Now who's coming? Hickory dickory dock. A hare hopped over the clock. The clock struck four. Look at the boings, boing, 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 boing. And there's the mouse. He hopped some more. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. Some bees buzzed round the clock. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> the clock struck five. Back to their hive. Hickory dickory dock. What do you see down here now? Hickory dickory dock. Some hens pecked at the clock. The clock struck six. They chased their chicks. Hickory dickory dock. Now who do you see? Hickory dickory dock. A pig oinked at the clock. Oink, oink, oink. Seven was struck. He rolled in muck. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. A billy goat kicked the clock. Uh-oh. The clock struck eight. He broke a gate. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. Someone nibbled the clock. The clock struck nine. Ah, a porcupine! Hickory dickory dock. Now what? Hickory dickory dock. A bear stopped by the clock. The clock struck ten. Off to her den. Hickory dickory dock. Hmm. Hickory dickory dock. A horse grazed near the clock. Eleven was struck. She kicked and bucked. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The moon shone on the clock. Twelve o'clock midnight. Little mouse, good night, said the moon. 
Hickory. Parachuting down. Dickory. Dock. Shh. Mouse is sleeping. Okay, well you got your clappers. I've got one, and here's my other one. Can you clap? So everything I say, we're gonna clap two times at the end. Until the end, then we're gonna clap a bunch. Yay! Like that, okay, ready? Behind the tree and under the house. All right, you got it? Can you do it with me? We'll start over again. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny, tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night, she clapped all day. She clapped to frighten the cat away. Meow. <laughs> do you like that one? Well, let's do it again, that's so fun. Ready? Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny, tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten the cat away. Nice. Okay, I've got my colorful houses here and my little mouse. I'm going to hide the mouse in one of the houses. I wonder which one it'll be in. All right, close your eyes. Where is the mouse? So since you're not here to guess which house the mouse is in, I have all the colors of the houses here in my magic bag. And here they are. So we've got pink and what's this? Orange and green and yellow, right? And here's black and here's red. Whoops, there goes blue. And here's blue, not exactly the same color blue, but it's blue, okay. So I'm gonna put them in here and I'm just gonna randomly choose. What do you think it's gonna be? You wanna guess? Oh, did you say red? You were right, so let's see. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the red house? Yes, little mouse was in the red house. That doesn't last very long. Let's do it again, okay? All right, close your eyes. Okay, I'm back. I put the mouse in one of the houses. Which one do you think I put it in? Hmm? What's your guess? All right, I'm gonna choose a color here. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the, what's this? Yellow house? Are you in the yellow house? Nope. No, no mouse in the yellow house. Here, I'll put that down there. Okay, what's it gonna be next? What's the next guess? Mm hmm hmm What's this color? Black. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the black house? Are you? Let's see. Nope, no mouse in that house. Okay, let's see. What's the next one we're gonna get? What's your guess? Which, if you were here, which one would you, would you say? How about, what's that? Pink. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the pink house? Let's see. Nope. No little mouse in the pink house. Okay. We got four more choices. Let's see if we get it this time. Ah, uh, what's that color? Orange, right. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the orange house? Yes! Squeak, 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 we found her. Hello, little mouse. Speaking of a mouse in the house, this is a fun one that we're gonna do together where we do some moving around. So everybody stand up, all right? So this is called boing, boing, squeak. Okay, so we're gonna go boing, boing, squeak. Okay, can you do it? Boing, boing, squeak. Okay. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. 
A bouncing mouse is in my house. He's been here for a week. He bounces in the kitchen. He bounces in the den. He bounces in the living room. Uh-oh, there he goes again. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. A bouncing mouse is in my house. He's been here for a week. Good job. So we're gonna do hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. Can you do that? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Let's pretend we're the clock, okay? The clock struck one. Ready? The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. The mouse said, what do you think? Boo! Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three. Two, three. The mouse said, whee! Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. One, two, three, four. The mouse said, no more. Hickory dickory dock. Okay, it's time to sing about you. What are you wearing today? Do you have a new outfit on? Hmm, look around. What have you got? What would you sing about? And actually, you can sing to your, with your family, okay? But for me, let's see. Hmm, how about my silver earrings? Elizabeth's wearing her silver earrings, her silver earrings, her silver earrings. Elizabeth's wearing her silver earrings all day long. Please take a bow. Well, hi girls. So happy to have you here today to sing about you. Who's going to go first? Okay, Abby, what are you going to sing about? I wear my ponytail shirt in it, and this hole is supposed to be there so you can, ponytail can go through Can you it. bend forward so we can see the top? Yeah, ponytail hat, right? Okay, ponytail hat. Ready? Everybody ready to sing? Abby's wearing her ponytail hat, her ponytail hat, her ponytail hat. Abby's wearing her ponytail hat all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! It's yeah, there's Louie. He wants to sing about him. All right, you want to say hi to Louie? There he is. Okay, all right. Okay, Anna, what do you want to sing about? Peppa Pig shirt. Okay, everybody ready? Anna's wearing her Peppa Pig shirt, her Peppa Pig shirt, her Peppa Pig shirt. Anna's wearing her Peppa Pig shirt all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Nice job, girls. Good to see ya. Okay, our next book is called Motor Mouse, and it's by Cynthia Ryland with illustrations by Arthur Howard. This is actually a chapter book for a, a picture book that's got three different chapters in it. I'll show you what they are. You can borrow this book and read the other two. So here's the contents. First one is called The Friday Cake Day. Going for a look about is number two. And number three is Front Row at the Picture Show. I'm going to read you the first one, The Friday Cake Day. That sounds like my kind of day. Motor Mouse and his friend Telly loved cake. It makes me stand on my head, said Telly, standing on his head. Cake did not make Motor Mouse stand on his head, but it did make him a hum a little tune. <laughs> said Motor Mouse when he thought of cake. Friday was cake day. All week, Motor Mouse and Telly did their jobs. Motor Mouse drove his little car here and there making deliveries and Telly trimmed hair rather well. Look, he's a barber. They did their jobs working their way to cake day. But one Friday, everything went south. That means it went wrong. Motor Mouse and Telly arrived at the cake shop and the sign said, shut. That means closed. Shut, they shouted, waking a hedgehog on a nearby bench. Motor Mouse and Telly were beside themselves. 
What is the point of it all without cake? cried Telly. He brought forth his handkerchief and let it all out. <laughs> Suddenly someone said, but what about pie? It was the hedgehog who could not help overhearing. Pie? asked Motor Mouse. Pie? bubbled Telly. The hedgehog invited them to follow behind his motor car for some pie. Soon they were out of town and flying over the hills. I am not sure I will like pie as well as cake, shouted Telly above the roar. Motor Mouse said nothing. He was busy keeping up with the hedgehog's motor car. It was a mighty machine. Wow, looks pretty nice. In due time, there was a village, then a row of shops, and then a shop that said P-I-E, pie. I'm not sure I want to eat pie on cake Friday, said Telly. We shall make do, said Motor Mouse. Be brave. They followed the hedgehog within. It smelled rather good inside. It smelled rather terribly good. Ooh, said Telly, almost feeling the urge to stand on his head. Hmm, said Motor Mouse. <laughs> they looked at the case of pies. Neither could speak. <laughs> Blueberry pie, that looks like apple pie, cherry pie, I think that's pecan pie. <gasps> oh my. Allow me, said the hedgehog. He ordered three plates of pie and three pots of tea. They sat at a table for three. Motor Mouse and Telly each took a bite. <gasps> Are we dreaming? asked Telly. Motor Mouse checked his watch. No, he said. They were indeed eating pie on Cake Friday, and it was quite acceptable. When Motor Mouse and Telly had finished with their pie, they thanked their new friend the hedgehog for opening up a whole new world to them. Of course, they went right back to Cake Friday the next week. Nothing in the world but cake could ever make Telly stand on his head. Oh, look, I see his feet. He's doing it right now. Did you like that one? Would you like to have a cake Friday or would you prefer a pie Friday? Hmm? Which do you prefer? Okay, speaking of cars, one of our favorite songs to do is Driving in My Car by the Cat's Pajamas. Come on, stand up. I'm gonna go driving. <laughs>
She's got a little dog in her pocketbook. And the little dog goes, yip, 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 yip. And the little movie star goes, yip, 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 yip. I've got my little dog in my bag. Yip, 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 yip. I've got my hat on my head. I've got my silk scarf round my neck. Ooh. 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 I've got my sunglasses. song and instead of stop and shake we're gonna fall down on the ground when the gong goes off okay so you've done this before probably if not you'll catch on quickly let's go this is a song where you dance along then stop and shake when Kevin plays the okay that's when we fall down on the ground and stop and just stay there until mm -hmm. music starts again okay mm -hmm. oh dance along oh dance along Oh, dance along. Back up quick. Oh, dance How fast along. can you get back up? Until heaven plays the. Dance along, go oh, dance along until heaven plays the. Oh, 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 oh wait, I thought that was a trick one. Oh. <laughs> I have to do that again. Oh, dance along, oh, dance along, until heaven plays the, heaven plays the. Gong. Okay, our last story is called Big Bear, Small Mouse. Hey, another mouse and bear story. This one is by Karma Wilson and it's illustrated by Jane Chapman. Big Bear, Small Mouse. Mouse hops onto bear. He is careful not to fall. Bear is big, big, big. Mouse is small, small, small. It's a rhyming book. Small Mouse. Big Bear. Look, is he tickling in with the feather? Bear and Mouse both wave to their friends as they go past. Badger moseys slowly, but hair runs very fast, right? Slow Badger, fast hair. Small Mouse, Big Bear. What's that up above? There's a flutter in the sky. Wren is flying low, while Owl is flying high. This is a book about opposites. 
High, low, fast, slow. What's this one gonna be? There's a chatter in the glen. High owl, low wren. Slow badger, fast hare. Small mouse, big bear. Mole and gopher tunnel up and join the happy crowd. The sun sets on the quiet woods, but all the friends are, what's the opposite of quiet? Loud. Quiet woods, loud friends, high owl, low wren, slow badger, fast hare, small mouse, big bear. Raven flies down from the sky. Look, here comes a storm. Outside it's getting wet and cold. But the lair is nice and warm. All together gathered there. Cold night, warm lair, quiet woods, loud friends, high owl, low wren, slow badger, fast hare, small mouse, big bear. Look, they're all in his lair, keeping warm in the storm. Okay, are you ready to make a mouse craft? This one's super cute, you're gonna like it. Uh, here it is. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Do you like it? Squeak, squeak, squeak. So here it is. I'll put it right here for now and we'll get out our supplies. If you don't get supplies from us, uh, there's a link down below for where we got this craft and you can do it at home. We pre-folded this part. And what else do we have? I, I just got my glue. You're gonna need some glue. You're gonna need a black marker for the eyeballs. And what else do we have here? We have ears and inner ears and eyeballs and whiskers and in the middle of the whiskers a nose. Okay, so let's get going. What should I do first? I think what I'll do is, so you need to make sure that it's with the up part so it looks like a W, right? And we're gonna put the face on one of the W, on the end of the W here, okay? So I'm gonna do that right here. So I think I'll start with the ears. All right, so we changed the angle of the camera so you can see us a little better. So I got my glue and I'm gonna glue on my gray ear on one side, like that. And my other gray ear, I probably should have done the inner part as well at the same time, but I didn't, so probably you should do the pink part on the gray first, but I didn't, okay. So now we've got the two ears and now here's the inner part of the ear to make it cute with the pink. So, nice pink inner ear for this one. And put some glue over here on this one, like that. Okay, there we go. So I think I'll do the eyeballs next. So here's one eyeball. And another eyeball. Got some glue on that eyeball. Oh, come back here. Eyeball. All right. And now I think before I forget, I'll give it some pupils, the black part of the eye. So, circle in that one and a circle in this one. Okay. I guess you could do it like cross-eyed or looking up or looking down. I don't know how you want to do it. All right, the next part is these are the whiskers and what we're going to do is cross them. So I'm going to put some glue in the middle of the face here, just below the eyes. And then I'm going to put one, one whisker going like that and one whisker going like that. 
and now a little pink nose in the middle okay so you can either put it right on the whisker the glue on the whiskers or on the nose now how's that is that good oh super cute so then you can make it in it's a puppet so you can put your fingers down Oops, that's glued together a little bit so down in here and down in here that's glued together a little bit I don't know why but there we go squeak 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 boing boing squeak boing boing squeak let me see if I can get this other one they can talk together hello oh hello are you at story time too yes I am it's so much fun at story time I'm so happy that you are here. Me too. Squeak, squeak, squeak. I hope you had fun at story time and I hope you come again next week. Bye for now. Yeah, bye for now. Bye for now.